So Lionel was Channing's father. Cece's pride and joy is Lionel's son. I'm sorry, but I admit that after all these years, I'm almost as relieved to tell someone as she was to tell me. I'll go now. I'm sorry. Now I know too, Sophia. Now I know. I do understand. I care about Gina. And I feel a responsibility toward her, even though I don't love her. It's your own friend, don't you? Yes. This is very difficult, Sophia. The boy is the reason that I married Gina. I knew that I couldn't feel about another woman the way I felt about you. And, oh, when I saw the chance to get our grandson back, I took it no matter what the cost. Remember what you just told me? No absolute, Cece. You've got to look at the end result. Brandon is in a wonderful home. He's surrounded by people who really love him. And I think Gina probably has what she wants, too. Now, I don't want you to think for a minute that I'm unselfish enough to want to share you, because I certainly don't. Just you telling me you love me. I'm so happy you don't have to apologize. It's almost like having Channing back. And you, in a way. You know, when he was a child, and we were so much in, in love, and so young, and so happy about the young family we started. Did I order this? PC don't. I'm not going to let somebody bully my son. You know what'll happen if you exert yourself, let Mason handle it. CC? Steve Mason doesn't do anything. No, but I could be persuaded to change my mind. Good. All I need is another excuse. Get your hands off my boy. Right. Go ahead and see what it'll get you. Mary, we're leaving. I'll drop it, CC. Out of respect for your age. At my age, I can knock you clear out of town without lifting a finger. <laughs> Damn, I thought this place was stuffy. Come around here. Steve. <clears throat> it's a cheap shot, I know, but it sure felt good. Steve, are you all right? Hey, hey, hey. hey. You think I don't know what you're up to? I'm trying to get the Christie's through her. Oh, it's not going to work. Your brother's going to rock behind bars like the animal he is. If you ever lay a hand on Mary again, I'll break it off. Neanderthal. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Well, why the hell didn't you hit him harder? <laughs> well, maybe I would have if you'd held him down. Well, if I was only 20 years younger. You did just fine. Thanks for jumping in there. Why didn't you just let him beat me to a pulp? Because. Oh. Oh, he's Miss Mason. It's all right. It's just Mason. They say, Cece, I haven't called security. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, it's, it's all right. No, we don't need security. What Mason, about me? Oh, all right. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I'm great. We'll come over and sit down. Yeah. I knew it. Are you sure? Did you get a really close look at him? I was right. He came here to be with her. He lied to me. He sneaked out to me. Mason, you should put some ice on that. You're going to get black eyes. All you know, the have... better to see you with, my dear. I have something really important I'd like to talk to you about when you have a free minute. Certainly. Well... As I was saying, I was trying to get closer to Mary because she can be helpful to us. Well, your, your strategy is very clever, Mason, but uh, the trial is tomorrow. Don't you think you should be working on the stronger aspects of Ted's defense? Well, those have been sort of hard to come by, Dad. Right now, I think the best thing to do is avoid the trial altogether. You mean to tell me that that, that phony charge against Ted could stick? Well, right now, it's just Ted's word against Christie's. Now, he's got character on his side, but she's got some pretty nasty circumstantial evidence on hers. Well, you've got to get him off, Mason. Now, if you want to call in other lawyers, then do it. CC, if you get upset, let me help Ted, all right? Dad, you can uh, call in whoever you like, but I don't think you'll find anybody who'll do more than I've done, or anybody with the emotional commitment. If you haven't noticed, my, uh, I love my brother a great deal. I know, Mason, I know. I was just suggesting... 
I just don't want to see my son go to prison. I'll do everything that's humanly possible to prevent that. Oh, here comes the missing link. Excuse me. My sister left her purse. Um, we're going back to the table, Mason. Are you coming? Uh, I think the pre-trial exhibition is over. The next time I demolish your Mason... You know, you didn't have to jump into that fight. There were other people around that could have helped Mason. I know, Sophia, but it was worth it just to see Mason's face when I came to help him. Are you all right? Yes, I'll be all right. See, I'm worried about you. You have to protect yourself. Sophia, I am living my life in minutes and hours. The most important thing to me now is to reach my children. Every one of them. When the time... While well, the time lasts. I want you to have those minutes and those hours and those days. I don't want to lose you. To be perfectly honest, I wish I had all your attention and your love. I know, I know. Can you understand how torn I am? you understand why I have to go home now? Because Gina needs me more than ever? I understand. I have your love, and that means everything. Yes, you do have my love. If you're ready to go, I'll walk you to your car. First, I want to try to find Eden. Let her know that I did come by. Okay, I'll wait right here for you. My turn. Finally. What do you want, Augusta? You and I have some unfinished business together. Oh, please, Augusta, not now, not again. I tell you, you better listen to me or I'm going to make a very unpleasant scene. I don't want to, but I will. And then everyone will know what it's about until you see scene and you won't have any more of this little touchy tit-a-tits like I just witnessed. What are you talking about? Talking about your son. 